Hey everybody, this is Tambiota, and I'm back with another Transformers video review. This time I have Power of the Primes Voyager Class Alita 1. So this is a uh, basically a retool of Starscream, what we've already gotten. Uh, except she has like a new chest and I think new arms, maybe. Uh, let's see here. So you can basically see, uh, there's a figure here. Uh, they have her in her robot mode there. And uh, she has two weapons, her um, her Enigma of Transformation, then her two feet. I uh, come along the side, you can see her in her uh, her combined mode. What is it? Uh, Alita Infinite uh, with the eye as a one. Uh, and I think that's what I saw, all the different primes. Uh, you come around to the back and uh, you can see all the different stuff right here. Um, basically it says it takes 12 steps to transform her. Uh, once again, here's her Autobot Enigma. Her Prime Armors. This little bio snippet right here. Uh, you can probably read that right there. If you want to take the time, you can just pause it and read it at your own leisure. Alright, well... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a little time. I'm going to get her out of the box and uh, we can check her out. Uh, just a reminder, this video is going to be strictly a review video for the figure itself. Uh, we'll look at articulation, um, different aspects of the figure itself and what we think about it in both modes in its robot and its uh, alternate, alternate jet mode. And then uh, tomorrow we'll come back and we'll look at how to transform her. All right, so we're back, and here we have Alita 1 out of the package. Uh, she's in her robot mode, because that's the mode that she comes in. So um, here, just real quickly, we'll um, show her off next to Starscream. And uh, you'll notice that uh, she looks the same, but a lot of the pieces are very different. Uh, like the arms, uh, the legs right here are, are different. Uh, these pieces of legs are different. Uh, the chest plate is different. The wings. I think the only pieces that may be the same are the shoulders right here uh, on the inside. Maybe this part right here is the same. Um, and I think that this cockpit right here is the same. But we'll uh, we'll check that out a little bit more whenever we get into robot mode. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. So. So she does have a few things that come with her inside the packaging. Um, she has her um, her little uh, trading card. Uh, they have her teamed up with uh, Quintus, Quintus Prime. Uh, let's see here. They uh, have her instructions right here. They have her prime armors. I'm just gonna set those off to the side. Don't really care about those. Um, they have her Enigma of Transformation, and that's uh, I do believe that's the same exact one that uh, Starscream came with. It's just got a different color paint on it. Yeah, so this is the one that Starscream came with. I'm sorry, it's still in his packaging. No, it's different, so it is a different one. And she comes with her two little pistols. They're very, very, very small pistols. Uh, so, her, um, let's see here. She does come with a little plastic piece that covers up her chest, and I think it's to keep the, uh, the chest from scratching uh, off the paint, but as you can see, if you look right here, you can see that didn't do a very good job. Um, so you can do like Starscream if you want to. You can take these pieces and you can uh, uh, pop them onto the side of her arms. Um, you can do whatever. She can hold them or she can just throw them away. Uh, her guns, um, 
she can hold them like this. She does have little dainty hands. I kind of wish there was a way to pop this open and, and shove them up in there so that they would be like, uh, like arm guns. So let's check out her, her head mold here. It's very reminiscent of Alita One. And I think they did a good job with matching the paint uh, with the plastic. So it's, it's a little bit off, but in the camera it looks almost exactly the same. Uh, so she does have a couple of throwback things on her. Um, she has a, uh, a sticker right here, and if you can't tell, let me see. I believe it says Aerial Evol uh, Evolved, Aerial Evolved, and um, she's kind of like Optimus, where uh, Orion Pax had his name changed. Um, she's short. She's sort of the same. Um, I, I did some initial reading on her because um, I was trying to figure out a little bit about her and, and she had a different name. She was Ariel uh, originally and then uh, something happened. She died. She was brought back to life and they brought her back uh, and named her, um, uh, named her Alita One. But her articulation, we can go ahead and go over that. So her head is on a ball joint, so you get all kinds of movement. Um, she has a ratcheting joint for her shoulders and uh, up like this for the other way. Then you have your twist. You have an elbow. Um, I don't think she has anything on the wrist. No, nothing on the wrist. So you come down here to the waist Looks like there is something on the waist, but no, there's not. Um, the hips, you have two different joints, one to move it forward, one to back, one out to the side. It looks like it should be ratcheted, but it's not. It doesn't feel like it's ratcheted at all. Uh, then you have your twist right here. You have your knee, no ratchet. It's weird because the arms and legs are ratcheted. The arms are ratcheted, but the legs are not at all. All right, so let's uh, take a quick break. Uh, I will be right back, and she'll be in robot mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I say robot mode? She'll be in aircraft mode. All right, so we're back, and here is Alita 1 in her jet mode. I have to say she's way more finicky than, uh, than, uh, than Starscream. Starscream was way easier to transform. Um, there's pieces that you have to slide in together and make it fit just right. Um, it's, it's, I, I'll show you whenever we do review tomorrow, uh, on tomorrow's review, but there's some issues in here where you have to like get the legs on top of the wings and slide them in. Um, and it's, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a pain to, to do that. Okay. So here's Starscream and he kind of was being a little bit of a pain for me to transform. Um, so just looking at him right now. Uh, only thing that's really I can say is the same is the cockpit this piece right here uh, would be these pieces right here this piece right here and that's it um, I think that these winglets nope they aren't they aren't the same either so yeah uh, the uh, the uh, the engines they aren't the same they don't look the same at all Look at the way they look. Even, even if I put the feet back. Like that. They don't look anywhere close to what they should. Or how the other ones do, I guess. Not what they should, but... See, the tail fins look different. They all look different, so. The underside is almost the same, so. Um, I 
as with robot modes, so. Yeah, so if you want to, um, if you want to attach her weapons, her weapons attach on her shoulder, like this. And then her, um, her armors attach like this. the armors so I'm just gonna leave those off to the side so yeah that looks that looks cool it's uh you know they have the same place for the uh for the enigma uh, the enigma chambers the same spot um i tend to like the uh the color scheme on this one a little bit better i like it in in this mode a lot more than uh, than the other one. I wish that they would have painted this part right here of the leg um, so that you had had uh, all red. Uh, the stickers, they have some wear on them, you can see already. Uh, let's see here, this is a tampo, so it's not a sticker. A sticker, these are stickers, stickers, these are all paint right here. This is all sticker right here. These are tampos right here. This is sticker. This is paint. Sticker, sticker, stickers, paint. So there are a couple of tampos on here which are nice. I I would much rather them do tampos than put on stickers, but uh, it's probably a lot cheaper to make a bunch of cheap stickers than it is to paint tampos on there. Oh, well, well, this is going to do it for this video review of Alita 1. Uh, don't forget to come back tomorrow to check out the uh, transformation video. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. This is Tambiota. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.